Hi everyone, I'm Cerise. I'm Joe. And today we're going to tell you about a whole bunch of things that we have never, never ever done. Ever done. And we will never do it. Never ever done these things. We Wouldn't not, do. Not doing it right now. And um, not going to do it either. Ever. 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 Because we're, we're That's we're, not who we are. We're good people. And I I would I would never deliberately create a specific image of myself to intimidate people and keep them from really getting to know me because they're too scared to come and talk to me. I would never do that. Yeah, I would never, ever have somebody reveal something about themselves that they feel guilty about and then constantly harp on them about what they did and how bad it is and how, how deeply it affected me that they did that in order for them to create such a dissonance with themselves and they feel so guilty that they need to then go overboard in trying to redeem themselves and trying to make themselves better to earn my forgiveness when all the while, really, I just wanted them to keep doing everything and keep feeling guilty so that I could keep reaping all of the benefits and, and slowly just sit back and enjoy the reward of having manipulated them. That, I wouldn't enjoy that. I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't. I would never use my intelligence or my skill in speaking with someone to deflect the topic of conversation off of me and back onto them so that I don't have to reveal anything about myself to them. I'd, I'd not never seen her do that. do that. Never, ever have I seen her do that. Never have I ever slowly earned the trust of somebody, getting to know their deepest fears and their deepest desires and developing a rapport and a connection and a point of trust and then to take all of that support, that, that trust and to slowly look at how I can use it to benefit me and slowly push them into positions where I know they're going to do the things that I want them to do because I have the ability to start planting seeds of doubt and start threatening those little things that might have to make them look at the things they fear to look at. And because I know they fear to look at it so much, they're going to go into the direction opposite of that. So wherever I can create that point where they're about to face their greatest fear, I can always use that as leverage against them. And slowly but surely, as I apply this to the people in my life, I start to gather around in perfect symmetrical order an order of dominoes set up exactly as I intend so that it awaits slowly that moment where I'm ready to flip my finger and unleash a cascade of events engineered by my hand without them ever, ever knowing it was me. I wouldn't even do that. I don't even know how to do that. Like, how could you even think of something like that? That was intense. Um, I, I'm a little bit scared now, but I I would. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't do that though. Uh, okay. I wouldn't do that. Mm. I would never manipulate someone or, or make them feel guilty or use their weaknesses against them to turn them into my slave. I wouldn't do that, ever. There was that. There was that. No. Mm -mm. But one time no, though. No, there wasn't. You remember we we talked about this that that you're you're misreading the situation. That's not what happened. That's fine. Everything's fine. It was all fine. It was just your I'm mistake. I'm you sorry. made that mistake. I'm it's sorry. Fine. It's fine. It's I fine. You can you. you can you can make it up to me later. It's How fine. Can, what can I, what can I do? We will talk about it later. How it's can fine. I, no, that's fine. I have to let's, make it up because yeah. I did something bad. Mm -hmm. But we can do that later because we need to finish our video now. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's not fine. No, it'll be fine. I would never use a, a certain tone of voice to to get someone to do something that I want them to do because I know that they're weak to that tone of voice. It's like they're susceptible to it. I I would never I would never do that. I would never maliciously use a specific tone or a specific character or a specific expression just because it's kind of like a key into another person and as long as I use that expression or tone or personality I'll get, be able to bypass their defenses I get into the heart of them and operate them like some kind of malicious puppet master with my finger deep inside of them making them do things I wouldn't do that I would I would never like deliberately 
seduce someone just to see how how much I can make them like me and then leave them and see how hard they fall. I wouldn't do that. Yes. But the problem is, we've actually all done that. Yeah, we've, I've done all those things. Cerise and I have actually done those things. We've done all of those things. But so have you, if you're willing and able to be self-honest with yourself. Yes, we are nasty people. Not just the two of us, but pretty much everyone in the world. We're all bastards. Okay, so that's like, we get that. All right, we're, we're all dicks. What do we do about that? Be willing to see yourself for who and what you are. Yes. But within that, be willing to change yourself. Have your focus be on, okay, this is how I have been living. This is what I have been doing. This is not what I want. So what would I like to create? Who would I like to be? How can I change myself to rather be that? To create those kinds of thoughts, to create ways in which I can support people rather than breaking them down to become an example of the kind of person that I would like to share this life with to share this world with let me focus on that another thing that sometimes we get trapped in when we're looking at all of the things that we have done and the things that we've said and the things that we've kind of secretly hatched together and been really spiteful and manipulative and deceptive about it's hard facing the truth of that. It's hard facing the fact that we went there. We went to that dark place and committed those things, being fully aware of the consequences. But we made the decision to do it in our own self-interest, despite the consequences that would follow. It's hard facing that, but when you're able to embrace who you are within it, meaning if you're able and willing to look behind what drove you to do that, what was it that you wanted, actually, that you feared to give to yourself? What was it that you separated yourself from so much that you were willing to manipulate and cheat and lie for? So, those two points are what we're going to leave you with. That willingness to look into yourself to see what is the motivating factor or factors behind your behavior, behind those secretive thoughts that you have. And be willing to see and, in a way, accept yourself for what you have done, for who you have been. But accepting yourself for what you've done and what you've been doesn't mean that you keep doing it. It means that, okay, that's what I've done. I make peace with that, but I'm committed to change. So, those are the two keys that we leave in your hands for you to use in your life, in yourself, and unlock a new you. And we did not engineer this in all of our videos, secretly planting these suggestions for you so that you would arrive at this very point where you're about to consider something that's going to change the rest of your life for the better. We, we wouldn't do that. We wouldn't have done that to you. Nah, I didn't do that. It was probably... If anyone did, it would, it would have been him. I'm, I, don't, I don't do that. If you like what we do and find value in the message that we share and the way that we look at things, please become patrons of ours. You can do so at Patreon. You'll find a link down below, right around there. Visit our page. You can become uh, one of the sponsored tiers that we have there, and that will support us to keep doing what we're doing and to plant more seeds and manipulate more people. Into changing themselves for the better. For the better, for the better. And also please remember to like, share and subscribe to our videos, our channels, our Facebook page. And we shall see you next time. Joe is gonna make me a cup of tea now to make up for his awful behavior towards me because he hurt me so badly with yeah. those nasty comments. Yeah, that was my fault, I had to make up for that. You know, I, I actually think that you need to go and get me some chocolate. Because that would make me feel better. Okay. But you know what kind I want, right? Not that not the one you got last time. That wasn't good enough. It was, it was bad. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.